Have a nice day, everyone. This video I will continue for aircraft leasing. When you want to deliver or re-deliver the aircraft, you will need two items. The first one, you will review the documents. So the documents, the number one, paperwork. The number two is physical inspection. The most important item in the physical inspection is the dent and buckle chart. Here, D and P chart or map, sometimes called map. This is the dent and buckle chart. What is this? This is a form for each airline has the template for this form. It contains the details of the location visually and written. What does it mean visually? Visually in the chart. Chart is a picture of the area of the dent on the right side of his dash, left side of his dash, or uh, the wing, left wing, right wing, engines, so and so. This is maybe in the figure or chart, and also you can take a picture. So, okay, it's photo and written here written means you will write where is the what is the damage the type of damage the dimensions and the type okay and do all these in the form noting all known damage status on the aircraft how can I find this? Where can I find this? If the operator give me this document, at least before the inspection by one day or two days, okay. But if the operator didn't give me this document, so I will find it on board of the aircraft in the cockpit here the reference from the on board okay but if there is new new damage so we can occur occur which also must be recorded okay what is the doc the information I concerned or mentioned or appointed on it, the damage location. Okay. The manual, structure repair manual reference, take care the, what is the revision of this manual. Damage classifications. Okay. We must don't write damage only or dent only or uh, anything but must clear clarify what is this damage type and its dimensions and what is acceptable in the limitation or no non-structure repair manual repair <clears throat> sometimes the repair complied or carried out with other documents. So approval outside structure repair manual. So the entries 
the repairs that entered. I will show you uh, in details. Repair files review. I must review the repair file. Check list of the repairs. I will need. I will need to approve or to accept these items with dirty finger print. Dirty finger print. D F P. These fingerprints. How does? Who does it? Who make the entries? The comp uh, compliance closed this damage. So I will need for this for this dirty fingerprints the technical log page, the work order, the task cards, main task card, and job instruction card, where the task was carried out and certified. Here are some examples I will not accept and make claim for the operator, such as scratch found in fuse. This is shortened about fuse ledge. This is not acceptable. He doesn't make where is the location, where is the reference, where is the dimensions, all these unknown. So this is not acceptable. Another example, dent found on first ledge. Okay, what is the dimension of the dent? What is the nature of the dent? Where in the first ledge? Where is the location? Where is the structure repair manual? Where is the reference? Okay. Fuse ledge is damaged near. This is not, not allowed, not accepted. Where? Where? What is the damage? Where is it? What is type? Other examples. Dent at frame 47 plus 4 and frame number 2 above stringer 25 left hand and structure repair limit in accordance with okay here the location the first the dent what is about the dimension of it or the type of it the nature of it the location this is not clear here not clear the stringer also not clear structure repair manual also what is its revision and its reference other example dent located frame so and so stringer here stringer here it didn't show left side or right side i don't know so this is not acceptable damage on skin located skin what is the damage here then crack what is this damage so all these examples are not allowed or not accepted and will claim the operator and put it put these items in open item list he must clarify these items for example here, what is the dimension details? According to the structure repair manual of the manufacturer, if Airbus or Boeing or other manufacturer, the structure repair manual of the determine the details of the dimension for them. 
length, width, orientation, diameter here, size of cutout, depth of the dent, etc. So each manual of the manufacturer determine these dimension details. Okay. I will continue after that. What about the physical inspection? This is just for D and B bucket chart. Here also your company must have a template for record here. This is sheet here, contains the aircraft type, aircraft registration, aircraft manufacturer serial number, and the report date and time, and the page of the report, page number of pages. Here, the first column here, item. The second, description. The fourth, work order, issue date. Here, perform it, yes or no. Okay. Reference and type. Damage type and nature. Dimension and location. Other notes. Here, entry date and the sign of the responsible. Here, the final date and the sign which closed this item, which complied. Here, we magnify here. Number one, the column number one, the item, is the number links the location to the damage chart or map. We call that at the end of the book for dent and bucket chart, some figures at the end of the book. Okay, so this is chart and map. And some photos or some uh, charts are for the structure like uh, dimensions in chapter six uh, without damage, without numbers for the new items. So this is the item will be in the chart. The number two, the column description, it contains the damage on aircraft or engine component and status of the damage and the repair if there is due date, okay. So all the descriptions with the information which we need. The column number four here is number three here. Work order issue date here, the work order or the task or the engineering order or the approved approval of the repair. Okay. Number four, perform it or yes or no. Here it perform it. So it's closed or open. Okay. If open, you must put it in the open item list. Okay. Number five, reference and type shows the evaluation and approval. Here, the approval structure repair manual or another or non structure repair manual approval. And now column number six, damage type and nature. Damage type such as then crack, so and so, nature such as impact, bird strike or light strike, etc. 
dimensions and the location show the repair dimension and location or cutout column eight notes any additional notes or information the last or the end of the sheet number i number nine column entry date which open the this item and who would which engineer which engineer is the enter is this uh, item also the final date and signature of the which closed this item and complied it so this is just suggested templates and short notes but you must follow your company templates okay thank you very much and goodbye